February overnighter time. And my hands bleeding. What does that tell you? Roll the intro. Just over 12 pounds. Not a bad double to start the session. Just over 12 pounds. Come on. Isn't that a beauty? Lovely, lovely fish. Let's get put back. Away she goes. So there we have it. We're actually going to start a new vlog here, challenge. It's get the gear set up and the camera equipment set up before we catch a fish. <sighs> oh. Just over 12 pounds. Not a bad fish. I have the wee fire pit on the go. The, the brolly is up, the bed chair is in. Only got two rods in at the minute. There is a gentleman fishing the jetty that we're on, so when he leaves, we'll put the rest of the rods in. And that fish did a did a number on me, which was just, you know, it is what it is. This is why we like pike. I've got a bucket of chopped fish and brown crumb. They just have to add some water to it. You know, the good thing about, see all my old bits that I don't, that I've used for a day. I take them and I chop them up and put them into a bag and then freeze them. You know, so after every session, you know, there's like a little bit gets added to this big bag in the freezer and eventually you end up with like a, about a kilo and a half of it. So today I took out the full kilo and a half of it, put it in the base of the basin, added a kilo of crumb to it and the juice that's come out of it has been pretty strong. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty fishy, but I added some other additives to it. I added some Nutribate salmon uh, sludge to it. And some Eddie Turner fish oil, just fish oil. So I put some water in it, mix it up, and then uh, I'm just going to go to the edge of the jetty where I'm fishing and throw a line of it so that there is a hot spot of fish that hopefully will bring in bigger fish. The fella that's on the jetty has been catching jacks all day, uh, so there's fish in the area. It's just a case of hopefully finding a bigger one. So Let's get this uh, stinking mixture made so we can chuck it in and then I'll think about cooking some, uh, probably dinner. Yeah, we didn't really, well, by the time we got down here and got stuff sorted out and got put up and everything, you know, it will be a dinner. It won't be a, it won't be a cooking with scopes breakfast time, but let's have a go. This is the big trout. This is the big trout bit. Or it's weed. Nothing. 
Yeah. I'm not like one of them amateurs. Two hours later. That's four rods in. The fella that was fishing here beforehand, he's he's took a slow drive back home. So I'm sitting here getting uh, getting warm by ye olde ye olde fire pit. Sparky at the minute, but it warms up you oldie bones. Oh. On the rock that we found, I've managed to balance this fire, this fire pit on a big rock. It's got these, it's got loads of little unfortunate zebra mussels on it. So they've been kind of opening and sizzling but as the hot as the rock gets hotter and hotter. But unlucky, sucks to be them. This is the February overnighter, in case you haven't already figured that one out. We've got one fish so far, uh, just a bit over 12 pounds. So let's see what today or tonight brings. I'll fight again as usual. I fish first couple hours into dark and then pull the baits off, get some sleep, and first thing in the morning when it's when when the well, I actually set the alarm for six in the morning. So ah, Jesus, warm, warm, birdie, birdie, birdie. <laughs> I'm doing the fire, I'm doing the dance, the flaming arseholes. Go away. <laughs> dance of flaming arseholes. That takes me back to my days in the forces. Anyway, we're going to uh, get up at about six in the morning, put the baits in, and again, tomorrow I'll fish to about five and then go home. But this is the overnighter for February. I have Steve with me. Steve's going to spend the, uh, the night in his car. You know, if we had a, I didn't actually think I didn't actually think he was going to stay the whole night. Otherwise, it'd have brought a bigger bivvy, but it's okay. I'd have actually brought a bivvy that would have put two people in it, but but we are. I put the tracker brolly up. The tracker brolly is uh, as normal. The tracker brolly is quite good. I quite like the tracker brolly. I have no idea what I'm going to have for dinner tonight. I have no idea at all. I think I'll probably have a... I have an all-day breakfast pouch. I'll probably have that there. Loads of beans. Help to help the digestion. Keep the guts moving through so you don't end up with constipation. It's like the old joke. What has... What has 25 letters, starts and begins, and it starts and ends in the letter N? Mm, constipation. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, that's a bit burning. Oh. Yes.
yesterday in Oma. You know I'm from Oma. Irish Republicans shot a policeman. Um, at the minute the policeman is in critical condition, but he is stable. That's kind of, it, it kind of takes me back to uh, like growing up in Northern Ireland with all this sort of shit happened regular. And I've, I've said it before and I'll, I'll quite happily repeat myself and say it again. If you support that sort of shit, then just unsubscribe. I don't want to talk to you. If you're one of these people that that cheers on these type of people, then I don't really want to know you. The man was taking his, his kids to a, a football practice. And they waited till he was putting the, uh, the footballs and everything into the boot of his car. And they snuck up behind him, as they do, as they're written down for. And fired multiple shots into it, into the guy. So, I hope that he pulls through. I'm thinking of his wife and children. Uh, I'm thinking of his young son who watched his dad get gunned down in a, in a car park. And I hope that... I hope that whoever has been involved in this gets arrested and uh, gets the heaviest sentence to jail time going. Next morning. Well, this is the morning after the night before. Not much happened after yesterday. There was uh, only the one fish. And that was the 12 pound, just over 12 pound fish. I've got the, the baits back in. I'm gonna make some breakfast, I think. But it was uh, a bit, bit breezy last night. Allegedly, and I mean allegedly, because if you can believe this, apparently I snored last night. There was there was certain people who will remain unnamed who were complaining about the snoring. <laughs> He's over there giving it in the corner. <laughs> People wonder why I fish overnight by myself, you know, and don't have to worry about its protections or anything. Just, sometimes the snores sound like fucking wild animals, so they get, they get left alone. <laughs> Little Dwayne, when, when he was with us, he used to uh, bring noise cancelling headphones with him. Could he be the same baby as me? And, you know, it would have a laugh, but always have a laugh about it. But he was, he was the one that said it was more like a demonic possession. Like it was summoning the devil or something like that there. So I had a laugh about that there. I was chuckling to myself. Oh, Mr. H. I miss the daft bugger. But... Today's mission, we're going to fish to about five and then take a slow drive home. At some point I'm going to have to find the uh, the metal bar for my inside chub light because it was up here and don't know where it went, it just fell off. So it got blown off at some point, so we'll uh, get that found, get everything packed down, but fish to five. I'm going to make breakfast. One eternity later. Right. Cookie with scoves. Today we're doing turkey bacon because I fancy the change. I'm going to do that with some chorizo. Just 
let that fry off a little bit and put some chorizo in with it. Put the chorizo around the side, all the juice from the chorizo comes off it and ends up tasting, making your turkey bacon taste a bit better. Because turkey bacon doesn't usually taste of anything. And right about now you're asking why didn't they just buy normal bacon? Because I seen the turkey bacon on special offer. This melt has tripped. I don't even know if there's anything on it. Let's find out. Just wind. I'll reset that trap. Oh. Disturbing my breakfast. Just then. Pound four. This one here is eleven pounds four ounces. This is the one that is blind in the one eye. Eleven pound four. I'll take a take a picture of this one and then put it back. No, I'm just going to take a picture of it on the. Thing. More so the blind than the one eye. Eleven pound. And away she goes. Meanwhile, I could have had a wee feeding spell here. That's a bite. 
that's a boat. Yeah, man. It's not a big fish. No, it's only hooking the side of the mouth, so here when you when you get the net in, we're gonna have to be we're gonna have to get we're make it hung up here. Ah shit. This is the second one of that little capture. And that one is 10 pound on the nail. This is the second capture. This one here is just weighed 10 pounds. Nice to get them. This one has some damage on his head, but they're, they're healthy enough. The first one, that one's got a little bit of a scrape on its head. Come here, you dafty. This thing's trying to swim to the bottom of the... There we go. Another one. That's a 10 pounder, an 11 pounder and a 12 pounder. <laughs> what a day. Or what a, what a session even. The 12 pounder was yesterday. One hour later. So, three fish in the session so far. Yesterday I had one just over 12, and today in the space of 5 minutes had a, a 10 pounder and an 11 pounder. So there's fish here. Apart from one that was blind, the rest of them are they're all chunky healthy fish, so... It's nice to catch fish, isn't it? Little Jack, 8 pound. Uh, if I can find it in the fucking unhooking mat or the sling, here we go. Don't eat my. There you go. On a mini mackerel. And away it goes. That is the end of the weekend session. The reason the weekend set, the reason the two-day session was called a little bit short, is because there was a slight uh, toilet emergency. And I don't think the old Ridge Monkey poop bucket was going to handle it. So I had to come into this to ski and use the, uh, the local garage. So to the staff in the local garage in this to ski, I am truly sorry for the, uh, the abomination that was left in that bathroom. Just like an angry rugby ball. Anyway, in the end, I ended up with four fish. There was quite three of them were doubles. Okay, one of them was just over ten pounds. The smallest of them was eight pounds. 
So I had an 8, a 10, an 11 and a 12 pound fish. Which was quite good. This, is, this will be the February weekender. If all goes to plan, and it's a big plan, then March might have two weekenders. Because I have time to use up on holidays from work, I'm going to try and swing it with Mrs S so that I can get away for two overnighters. Now whether or not that happens is any man's guess. So, if you're a praying man, give me a wee prayer. If you're a... If you're one of these people that's a bit spiritual, give your favourite crystal a bit of a drug for me. And uh, we'll see if we can get two overnighters done in March. It's just gone five o'clock now. So, give it all, give pretty much today and most of yesterday. Steve did okay, Steve had a, a few nice roach, he ended up going to the, the 8 meter whip. Steve was a little bit surprised at the uh, snoring, so this is why the wild animals don't attack me while I sleep. It's hilarious because I was kind of like, I was tired as hell last night, I really was, but, you know, I had some beer that if I was going to drink I would have drank it, but I had like three quarters of a tin of cider that Steve brung, and I wasn't really feeling the need to kind of drink, because if I was going to go on the beer then, or on the cider even, it would have meant having to get out of warm, comfortable sleeping bag to, to take piss in the middle of the night, and I didn't really fancy that. Didn't really fancy that at all. So, I kind of went to bed and I was kind of having a chuckle when Steve was saying about the snoring and the noises and he was kind of, it, it, took, it, it, did, it took me back to, to Mr. H having to bring his noise cancelling headphones. Good times, good times. Anyway guys, I'm going to cut the video to an end here. Lots of other stuff hopefully in the pipeline soon. Hopefully, if this summer comes to pass, I might get some, some uh, sea angling done. I might get some, well actually I'm, I'm aiming to get some, where's this guy going? I'm aiming to get, come on you fuckwit. I'm aiming to get out after the tuna. And the, or blue shark and poor beagle shark. That's the plan. Whether or not the plan comes to fruition, another story, but at least the plan's kind of there in motion. I haven't done shark fishing in a long time, and I actually think, you know, it's about, I'm about due to go and do a day shark fishing. So, to cover the YouTube shit, if you've seen the videos and you like the videos and you think that you've got a friend out there, you think, hmm, my friend, Mr. Bob, or Mr. John, or Mr. whoever, even Pablo, if you've got a friend called Pablo, uh, they might quite like to enjoy this video. I think I'll share it to their social media. Please feel free to do that. Don't be scared to share it to your social media. I promise you'll enjoy it. Well, they'll enjoy it. For want of a better word, I'll, I'll thank you. You know. Uh, liking and sharing the videos is awesome. Thanks very much. That's all I ask of anybody. Uh, for those people who are, who are beyond mentally deranged, and there are some of you, um, there is a Ko-Fi link to buy me a beer. But please don't do that. You don't have to do that. Uh, it's only for this. It's only for the very, very, very crazy types that do that. There was people that asked, you know, Scobes, make get a Kofi or a fucking Patreon or whatever it is. 
and I was like, kind of, uh, I don't really feel, I don't really, don't really like that idea. But eventually, I got peer pressured in by crazy people, so I ended up getting a, a Ko-Fi, which seems the least offensive. I don't particularly like Patreon, if I'm honest with you, because their politics kind of stinks. If I'm honest. Their whole, they, they kind of bully their creators, and I don't like that. I don't like bullies. So, do you have a uh, co fi? And until next time, troops, tight lines. I just get around this corner of death before I say, Fare thee well, corner of death. Bye bye.